Olá, Henrico. Vamos fazer a avaliação do seu exercício número 5, que prevê falar de fluxo de desembolso, saída de verbas do projeto. É como se fosse entrada e saída do dinheiro do projeto. A gente primeiro localiza o seu exercício. E eu vou aqui pegar a versão 530, porque você disse que está evoluindo dentro da série 500. O, a versão certa é 500, mas já que você me explicou, eu vou abrir a 530 e vou ver o que aqui chega primeiro o seu modo 570, que é o último que você deve ter trabalhado. Mas parece que aqui a gente trabalha modo 550, modo 560. Vamos verificar aqui, dentro do que é pedido, o que, que você fez. Então, tem a opinião, a introdução, a parte 1. A parte 1 pede para você fazer uma tabela dos custos totais, centro de custo, uma tabela com os custos totais, contendo a informação no formato SDOC. Uma tabela dos custos totais. Tabela deve ser essa aqui. A regra é seu número de matrícula com 004 no formato SDOC. Eu vou abrir, duplo clique, vou abrir, colocar aqui do lado e vou analisar. Uh, mês a mês. Mês a mês. Tá aqui, mês a mês. Custo total do trabalho direto. Então, direct work. Custo total, mês a mês. É, se eu pedir aqui para autofill, eu vou ter o valor mês a mês cabendo aqui na tela. O objetivo disso é para mostrar que você pode exportar isso, exportar os resultados para uma planilha. Aqui a planilha SDOC é visualizada dentro do aplicativo, mas você pode exportar para o Excel. Você fez a planilha, versão 501. Seu ID, versão 501. Vou abrir de novo. Versão 501, versão 502. Eu vou abrir a versão 502 para entender. Mês a mês, acumulado. Vamos ver. 501. Mês a mês, acumulado. Aqui nós temos... Mês a mês, aqui não está acumulado, contendo as informações, ah, não acumulado, correto, não acumulado. Aí nós temos uma tabela de custos contendo informações não acumuladas. Então, 501, não acumulado. Versão 502, não acumulada. Mas aqui a diferença é do projeto todo, projeto todo, vamos de novo, uma tabela contendo não acumulada de forma analítica, Analítica decomposta. Gasto total sem imposto e imposto. Total cost without taxes and taxes and fees. Direct work. E aqui diz projeto todo. Logo, instead of working on direct work, you should have worked on the entire project. Reporting diagram, general reporting diagram, table reports. Ok, uh, cost center, total cost, total cost, monthly, 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 monthly. ok, and um, let's see if it's enough, of course, You have to, to have a title here. Okay, Par parameters goes to the left. Forwards, finish, ready. Gasto total sem impostos e impostos. Total cost. No, we have to expand it. Again, reports, general reports, table reports. And I think we have to expands center ok let's see it again uh, total uh, complete projects and direct work direct work costs and taxes costs all the no the only, uh, cost centers ok let's start again 
stable reports, total costs and total tax and fees. That's right. And without expanding centers, where is it? Don't expand center. Okay, forwards, ready. Now I think it's correct. I mean, uh, a table with the complete project costs. Project costs, complete projects means construction, indirect work, indirect works and direct works. Total and tax. Monthly. Ok. Uh, você precisa revisar o seu exercício porque o seu módulo 502 não está mostrando os, o projeto todo, só está mostrando o, cur, o, o direct work e, só, e está mostrando só o. está mostrando o cost and tax, mas só do. Do, do trabalho direto, não do projeto todo. Então, revisa o seu modo, o seu, a sua tabela, versão 502. Ok, voltando para o seu projeto. Opa, aqui. Parte 2. Fluxo de desembolso. Saída de verbas, saída de dinheiro. Ah, vamos ver aqui. Vou colocar mais em dólar, imposto em dólar. Eu preciso ver isso, provavelmente, aqui. Imposto em dólar. Modo 550, fluxo. De... Eu tenho que colocar um imposto em dólar. Sempre que houver atividade na moeda, haverá um imposto. Então, eu vou procurar na parte de custos. Custos em real, custo em dólar. Eu vou expandir. Não quero ver o logística, porque aqui. Opa, aqui tem. Aqui não tem. Aqui não tem. Aqui não tem. Aqui não tem. Mas aqui nós temos. Cost em dólar e taxes em dólar. Vamos ver como é que é o imposto. 1.120. 1.120, totalizando aqui. Todos que tem 1.000 tem 120. Então existe um imposto em dólar, tax, que você deve ter colocado no fixo. Tax components, tax, que você deve ter colocado em Fix. Onde está aqui? Ah, você usou fórmula. Deixa eu ver se você usou fórmula. Sempre que houver, haverá uma adição em dólar. Sendo esse cálculo. Só despesa. Deixa eu ver se aparece alguma fórmula aqui. Drag. Aqui. 12% quando existir custo em dólar. Então você não escreveu no custo fixo. Você fez isso através de fórmula. Ok. Modo 550. Deve ser criado. No, name notes. Name notes. Custo total. Total cost without taxes. Taxes and fees. Taxes and fees. Tá bom? Fluxo de desembolso de modo associar. Leal. Ah, você botou a fórmula. Ah, ok. 12%. Ok. Deixa eu ver se você marcou isso aqui. Porque isso aqui... É importante e necessário? Opa! Isso é importante e necessário para que você não tenha que aplicar a fórmula. Então você marcou. Para você não precisar ficar aplicando, ele automaticamente, the, the spider automatically executes the formula during the shadow calculation or resource constraint scheduling calculation. Uh, vamos aplicar, não acumulados. Ah, você tem que fazer os gráficos. Total cost, taxes and Taxes without oh, costs, total costs without taxes. Not cumulative monthly, not cumulative monthly, with expanding centers. Okay, let's see if you finish. Um, total costs, tax and fees, total costs without taxes. Okay, but uh, it's from from the whole project. Is it from construction? Are these graphics from logistic or construction or my building 2022? Uh, let's apply these three layouts to projects 
disbursements, projects, disbursements, flow. Let's check it. Projects, 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 disbursements. Okay, but remember, uh, just the uh, out, not the income, but outcomes. Então, eu deveria ver somente as saídas. Vamos ver aqui. Gráfico. Call center. Total cost. Is the first here. Total cost. Expanding. Center. Monthly. I think. Vamos ver. Not cumulative. Então nós temos o seu e o meu. 564731. Sim, então ok. Então você mostrou da construção, do trabalho da obra, da construção. Se eu fizesse do projeto todo, eu talvez tivesse problemas. Vamos ver? Não, porque o projeto todo ele pega dinheiros entrando. Nesse caso não deu diferença. Então você fez o primeiro aqui ampliar a escala. Eu não estou vendo os valores aqui. Estou vendo os valores na coluna da esquerda, vertical. Se eu quisesse ver os valores, eu acredito que você sabe que bastava mostrar valores para você ver os valores aqui em cima. Não foi pedido isso no exercício. Então, eu vou desmarcar. Pronto. Então, temos o custo total por mês. Temos as taxas por mês. Deixa eu ver aqui. Taxes and fees monthly, not cumulative, with uh, expanding center details. Let's see. Okay, expanding centers. Remember, when you see dollars and reals together, because of the uh, the difference between the two currencies, you will see uh, you will not be able to see so distinctly the values here because uh, dollar is more. Um, The, 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 the tax rate is 5 to 1, so the dollar is stronger than Rio. And Rio is represented here by thousands of Rios, when uh, dollars are represented here by hundreds of dollars. Okay, taxes and monthly, okay, expanded. And the last one is total cost without um, taxes. How we do that? Parameters, properties, total cost without taxes. Okay, there is a cost center that give it to us. But imagine, if you decide to make your own calculation, formulas, and you can build your total cost less tax and fees divided by two, any formula you decide to Bills could be represented here. I mean, total cost less than taxes or taxes divided by total costs less than taxes. You can plot any kind of graph here because you can make it here. You can make a formula here. Instead of a field, a component field, you can create Structure, resource done, resource center. What is it? Step two. Helper. Which kind of helper is that? Yes, that's right. Helper. Quantity. Resource hours. Okay. Um, You can choose a lot of parameters here, parameters. But I, I'd like to show a formula, is that it's better? But not this formula, uh, what is it? Report and parameters. Okay, anyway, you can build a formula here. I have no good idea to make a one here. So, uh, modo 550, você fez com previsto. Então, próxima, próxima parada, parte 3 de 4. É, fluxo do financiamento, aí você tem é, o Project Financing Flow, 
ins and outs. Ah, pagamento, fontes pagadoras. Modo 560. Modo 560. Code, WBS, code name, notes. Ok, the fields are here. Start, where is start? Start net. Start net means you cannot start earlier than this start net field is used just to fix when the money comes. When it is expected to have money incoming projects. Financing one, of course, uh, this is a specific uh, condition. Is this is a specific um, a li a way of incoming for your projects. Monthly, every first day in the month, you will have uh, 514,000 uh, reals, our local currency. And is that, but I don't understand. It seems to be here. Let's, um, let's have a zoom. Financing 313,000. And you give to your projects 514,000. Let's see it again. The right of here, accuracy. Valor total do custo do projeto. Acrescido dividido por oito parcelas iguais. The financial value is the total project costs from direct to work. Okay, direct and indirect. Divided plus 10%. Okay, let's see the costs of your direct and indirect. Let's make. Vamos fazer um cálculo aqui. Um, um três, um, sete, 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 dois, mais. Ah, daqui, três, três. Vamos lá. Três, sete. 21567 dividido por 8. Por que dividido por 8? Porque está escrito aqui. 8 parcels, 8 incomes. On the first day on the month. Ok. Double click. Business days and hours. Ok. 1 to 8. Divided by eight. <coughs> Something went wrong here. Vamos de novo. Divided by eight. Enrico, <coughs> o valor é quatro meia cinco. Vezes dez por cento. Esqueci os dez por cento. Plus ten percent. Ah, ok. Ctrl C. Enrico, there is a difference here. 5, 4, 5, 11. Por que será que está assim? A conta está certa. Vamos calcular? Calculando. Calculando, Ctrl C, Ctrl V, 10% a mais, dividido por 8, 511. Enrico, me ajuda a entender se eu estou fazendo a conta errada. São 8 e o valor é o valor do projeto direto e indireto com 10% dividido por 8. A minha conta está dando 511. A sua conta está dando 514. Veja só. Outra coisa, Henrico, se você deixar marcado isso aqui, o processo fica lento. E você não precisa do cálculo drag agora. Então você pode deixar desmarcado, que ele fica muito mais veloz. Vamos ver aqui. O trabalho indireto é maior que o trabalho direto. Está muito caro, porque a supervisão está muito cara. 
Então, conferindo mais uma vez, o valor do financiamento, financing value is the same, uh, is the result of total building costs. Total building costs. Indirect work and direct work. Plus 10%. Divided by 8 parcels. 8 incomes. In my case here, in the, few, in the picture, the amount of money was different from yours. But when I calculated your values, it is not 514. Seems to be 511. Did you make a, did you made a let's see did you made a, a formula to make it financial fixes okay I will change it just to make some tests here Ctrl C mark all of them fill Ctrl V okay let's calculate again to see five eleven thousand and uh, as a financing income and check the 564 doesn't here calculating okay now we have a different situation now we have a different uh, income outcome project financing flow okay anyway your graphics are correct Mode 560 seems to be okay. Um, okay, one hour activity duration. Okay, show revenue as positive. Okay. Okay, seems my my example was 300 dozens. It's different from yours. Um, cash flow. The most interesting part of the exercise, your activity should come to the cash flow, project cash flow. That means I don't want a reddish cash flow. I want it always positive. Uh, if you have a, a mode, for a mode 570 project cash flow. That means you have uh, the same cash flow monthly, um, weekly, and daily. I think. Let's see. Let's have a, a special attention for the monthly. I will show you the. Um, values without decimal points okay expanding uh, it is always blue that means that you do not have a problem with your cash flow if you uh, shadow it as up as soon as possible without considering problems of lack of resource the cash flow uh, seems to be the same but let's see your baseline File. Uh, okay. 410. 410. Okay. I will calculate everything again just to make sure that I have not committed any mistake with your validation. Okay. Just to check here. That's not the same. Oh my God, you are insisting. I will compare analysis. I will delete results with the baseline. Because you are not using the baseline. You are using a project for your comparison. So you must for, forget this kind of comparison with uh, uh, projects. But you must consider comparing your actual version with the baseline. Baseline means baseline, not another project. Okay, compare with a baseline. Okay, view, uh, view, 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 comparison, setup, show compared pro no, uh, groups, general, current, compared, baseline projects, calculate everything regarding baseline, comparison with baseline, okay, now the project is being compared with your baseline, not with another project. Of course, you can use the 410 version as a project, as the same as the baseline, but consider using baseline. Another uh, interesting uh, point is check all the parameters. C 
cost components, cost center, materials, material center, material set, user. You may check all the fields or parameters to be compared. It's not your a uh, question of your effort, but the computer's effort. That's his problem. It's not your labor. Okay. Now we can think about cash flow. Cash flow without consider resource leveling or lack of resource. Cash flow means you are always in blue, positive condition, not the reddish negative cash flow. You have the money. And uh, weekly, considering weekly, you see that every month, you start with money and you are going to spend it until you receive another money, another income and you deliver it until you consider receiving another income and at the end you are finishing your projects with some uh, remaining value. Here is the $366,000 uh, reals. Okay. But imagine uh, if you consider the lack of resource and you said that you have some problems with this resource. Probably things will be changed in time. So the cash flow should be changed too. But there is no significant difference in the numbers here. So I will make a problem for you. I will create a problem for you. Instead of having the money you need with extra 100%, 100, a 10% increase, I will finance you with less money. Um, 511, 511 plus, no, as plus, as approximately dot nine. 554, okay, I will fix 590,000 reals notes that you do not have the same money you expected to have if i calculate everything again the cash flow will be changed because the income are lower than you had previously without the 10 percent we gave you you are still able to finish your work in, with the money you have no reddish cash flow if i decrease it and recalculate, considering the lack of resources. You could point to your sponsor that we cannot run it, you cannot run your projects in June and July because you won't have the money to support your expenses. But remember, uh, at the end of the, the project, you will be uh, red in your bank accounts because uh, the amount of money they are giving to you is not enough. Even if they change it at the end of the project for $550,000 uh, reals, you will have the money for the entire project, but not at the time you need. Please note here that you are positive in the end of your projects, a little positive, but during June and July, you won't be able to accomplish with your expenses. So, you must decide. You will pay for some extra taxes in your bank account because you are um, borrowing money from the bank. Or you, or we, you will redistribute or ask for a redistribution of your financing income. You could solve that as we have, as we have a little final amount of money. We can ask a spider to say to, to, to check um, cost center and make cash flow be healthy. Okay, cash flow is a cost center. And spider not only will consider the lack of trunk and uh, helper, but also will consider to balance and check the money for the cost center cash flow. Let's see if it will work. July and June, negative values we want to be all month in a blue color a positive cash flow value i will pause the video or the recording not to make it too long uh, cost center is spent okay uh, it seems that the money is not enough 
to finish the work. So there is a trouble here. Spider could not uh, check and balance the hammock changings. So when you consider uh, making the, the, the analysis of um, cash flow balance, you must remember that uh, the, the cost center has to deal with uh, activity that has no fixed duration. It expands and compacts every time it calculates. So it can't uh, deal, uh, uh, Spider approach cannot deal with this kind of uh, hammock changing inside the change and the study of um, cash flow balance or cost center balance. The same with the helper. Do remember the helper for hammock and the helper for activities for the direct work. Okay, let's uncheck cost center and it will be and it will be back at the same instance we had before. Also you must consider that this teeny and small uh, deficit here could be um, could be considered as a detail could could be considered as a, as a not so important debit you could work with this problem because next month you will be healthy enough to complete your projects in a blue way in a positive way okay mode 570 project crash flow was done in monthly periods, mm -hmm. weekly periods, and daily, I don't know what, why you should use it in a daily way, but it's easy to you, it is, it is easy for you to understand that uh, when you have some very teeny and small negative cash flow, it may be not so important. And you see, uh, less 26,000, less 91,000, but at the end of the project, you will be positive, and these extra taxes probably will be covered by your final positive value here. Consider that. Uh, don't, don't forget, we are waiting for developers, uh, spider the team developers, consider a smarter algorithm to compensate this problem dealing with hammock activities. When the algorithm cannot solve immediately the problem, it is used to postpone all the activity for the last period because it, the algorithm thinks it will have enough money to deal with the direct and indirect work. Okay, you must review your problems, you must check your last activity for uh, video to consider uh, Fixing your problems, we have checked here. Um, modes 570. Okay. My, my problem here was much uh, complex. My problem here was bigger than your problem in the example I gave in the book. Okay. Uh, you must consider, you must remember that you have a PPT Power Projects presentation explaining feasible and possible because financial restrictions and you have not given it yet i think is that and that's the end of our evaluation you run from one to four a uh, class one to class four to come here and you are not 100 percent perfect because during a process planning process you are going to find loss. And losses reduce the quality of your planning process, planning results. But anyway, if you have a 96%, 95% in quality, you could say that your project plan is really good. You had run from the first step to the last step to present something very important what to do, when to do, how you do it, how, how, how you do it, the sequence of your work, and how much it will cost. Don't forget, 
to mention that you have the resources, reusable and not reusable resources. It's a complete project plan. It's a complete and very detailed idea of what you need to complete your My Building 2022. Ok, Rico, tchau. Faz as verificações e avisa a gente.